Hi friends, good morning. I have a little squirt over there. She's not going to school this morning. I let her sleep in because she stayed up way too late last night and we have a doctor's appointment today. Where is, I literally was just gonna say, where's my camera? <laughs> I'm holding it and I'm using it. Um, just uploaded yesterday's video. You okay? Got yourself ready to go? She's a cutie, she always goes for cozy. I saw a TikTok video this morning and they were like, what's up with all these middle school kids and high school kids and all they wear is their fleece flannel pajama pants and Crocs. <laughs> and who does that remind you of, Ashley? Uh, Chelsea. Chelsea, 100%. And I was like, they're comfortable. If we had figured that out in middle school and high school, it would have been a whole game changer, right? I'm going to get some more light in here. Yeah, they're, they just, they're smarter. They, and the person on the TikTok was like, you know, that just is what's so wrong with from the pandemic is that they just got so used to being comfortable. Yes, they did. And they realized we don't have to wear the uncomfortable clothes to school. We don't have to wear them. Well, we'll just be comfortable. My whole class is like, why are you wearing pajamas? I'm like, well, did you wear pajamas on Zoom? And they're like, yeah. And so like, why am I not allowed That's to wear That's what you said? Them? It yeah, like, why am so I that not, shirt is a little uh, dirty. It's just... Toothpaste? No, it was just... Yeah. Okay, go wash it off just really quick with a little towel or else it's going to leave a little mark. If it's just water, it'll dry. Anyway, really quick. We're going to the pediatrician. It just made it worse. It, yeah, it'll, it's wet. <laughs> it'll dry. Oh, I feel like it's so Okay, so have you, you brushed your teeth, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Did you get something to eat or no? Okay, um, I'm just gonna fill up my water with some ice and then um, we have about 10, 11 minutes before I have to go. Oh, I have to brush my teeth. I rushed out yesterday, you guys. <laughs> I didn't brush my teeth and I still had my retainer in. Oh man, and it was fine because like at the scan you have to wear a mask because it's still like in a medical room or whatever. And, uh, but I was like, ooh, my breath is nasty. <laughs> so I got home and I was like, I have to brush my teeth. Also, what's interesting, I'm gonna keep you here. Um, Kaylee went and got her retainer, like, mold done. And uh, I also was asking her about it because she came home really quick after getting it done. I just thought she would, it would take long enough that they, she would then go back to school. Well, she had late start yesterday and uh, she came home and I was like, wow, that, that was really fast. And she's like, yeah, mom, they don't do the goo stuff in your mouth anymore. They literally take like a scan of your mouth and they just, and it's just like a, it's not a, it's a camera ultrasound. I don't even know what it is. Like a, 3D printer, I don't even know. But we went with the option of her retainer um, being made out of house from the orthodontist office so that it will last her longer. Because we know she grinds her teeth now. So, fantastic. Did I get it? No, her, she, I have my retainer in right now. She grinds through, it's right there. All of, like there's holes on every single tooth on the retainer. I grind through. Right, yeah, you might. Um, okay. Let me go brush my teeth. Let me go brush my teeth and take the retainer out. All right, this isn't the best location, but I got to quickly tell you what I'm going to do with her. She's going to her pediatrician, and uh, she's really nervous about it. So she, we've agreed, and we've talked about it for like a week and a half, that it would be best for her to stay home this morning and instead of just being anxious at school and have to deal with that at school. So she'd stay home this morning and decide if she wanted pancakes and McDonald's on her way or if she'd be too anxious to do that and would get something on her way home or back to school. So she stayed home, slept in. I think we're okay, but you can kind of tell that if I start to mention where we're going, she gets a little anxious. But we're going to go talk to her pediatrician. Her pediatrician just probably found out from reading her notes online that I updated um, that she is diagnosed with anxiety. We want to talk about medication. We need to, I need to talk to her about some of the other eating issues 
and possible diagnoses that we've discussed with her therapist. Um, she knows she has a therapist, but we've had a lot of progress since Ashley had had her last like regular checkup. So it's kind of a big appointment and yet like it also may not have anything come from it either. I don't know if the doctor is going to agree to medication or if we're on a good path. So she's really anxious and she doesn't like having herself in the conversation. She'd rather be just like removed from it and then find out about it later, but she needs to be there for this appointment. So <laughs> just needed to give you a little background and I need to move the laundry really quick before we go. Alexa off. I need to turn that reminder off. I take my medicine all the time. Also check out my new little kicks. No pun intended, New Balance. <laughs> Jason brought these home for me. I have been using these little slippers and uh, I've kind of decided I need to have something really comfortable and I wanted black. So I have just succumbed to wearing full tennis shoes and I, these are my black pants that I wear all the time when I go out and then if I'm not going out for the day, I have other pants that I wear because I like to wear these ones when I go out. As I was just talking about with Ashley, I was like, see, it's kind of like cute little target mom outfit. And she's like, oh my gosh, that's all over TikTok. And I was like, yeah, because moms like to be comfortable too. Moms like to be comfortable too. We just don't wear our flannel pants. We wear cozy Costco ones. Well, can we talk about this sunshine? You guys, it feels so good out here today. Such a good day. Maybe I should just go a little walk. But let me tell you how this appointment went. I just dropped Ashley back off at school and I could not have asked for that appointment to go better. Hang on. Okay, so went to her pediatrician. Now we've been with this pediatrician since Kaylee was born. So 17, almost 18 years. So we love her. Ashley has been preparing herself for about two weeks to go to this appointment. Let me see if I can put you up here. Hang on. Perfect. You don't get a steering wheel in it. Been with this doctor for a long time, but Ashley has literally been preparing for this appointment for about two weeks now in terms of like her anxiety which again, she has learned through therapy. So that's a great thing that she's learned that tool of um, working through things that might be hard as she has to do them and she knows about them ahead of time. But the appointment itself couldn't have gone better. Explained everything that we've done with therapy, details that I haven't really even shared here that are private and just between us and her doctors. But then I told her doctor I needed to talk to her privately and then um, Ashley came back in and we were kind of talking to her and and at one point uh, the doctor she kind of needed to make a decision on whether or not she feels like Ashley needs to be on medication which is the whole purpose of us seeing her today but also to get a physical checkup in terms of her weight to make sure that her eating issues hasn't made her lose weight so I'm trying to get like better lighting on me anyway so everything was fine with her weight and the doctor was kind of asking Ashley like do you think you're okay going forward do you think you have enough tools with the therapist are you you know do you think you're okay um, without medication and Ashley just oh, it's heartbreaking to see her like that but it's even worse when you have her do that in front of someone that you know because um, she usually hides emotions in front of people. Like she'll save it for when we're home or something. Um, so for her to get emotional and, and her anxiety showed, it literally just flared its head right there on the spot. And the doctor was able to see it and experience an anxiety moment for Ashley. And one that was very helpful. I sometimes... It's always hard, like her teacher, you know, she said, I didn't even know she had anxiety. I never see it. I don't know what it looks like. Um, I think it was helpful for the doctor just to kind of witness it. 
not that she wouldn't hasn't believed us she knows that we're doing therapy she knows all these things it was helpful for her to see a moment with Ashley like experiencing something that was hard but also Ashley said no I'm not okay enough I I need help I still need help um, and the doctor gave the approval for medication and I know not everyone would agree with that and that's fine given Ashley's level of anxiety um, the doctor approved it and we're gonna start a low dose I'm gonna go pick it up right now and we're gonna take it every day and we're gonna check up in a week we're gonna check up four weeks later and we're gonna check up four weeks after that and we're gonna get this dose nailed in it's gonna take some time Ashley knows that we've talked about this I'm very excited <laughs> it was hard to see Ashley like get emotional with the doctor because she has never ever ever gotten emotional with the doctor before um, but it was so good to like literally see a smile on her face when she can he see her doctor understand and agree that there's something wrong I think with mental health it's such an invisible thing that I think it's hard um, for people when doctors don't believe you that, you're there, that there's something wrong and I think Ashley has felt like people don't think that there's something wrong when it's inside her and in her head I think she was like oh my gosh the doctor sees me she sees that there's something wrong and she wants to help me ah, it was so good it was so good um, it was really interesting as well to um, talk with this pediatrician because she's been with us for 15, 17 18 years her patients that she had 18 years ago are all Kaylee's age and she's having to do um, a lot more teenagers now as she's been in a practice for probably about 20 25 years and um, some mental health is a big part of her practice with these patients of hers that she's had for so long and she said that her and a, another co-worker another um, with another doctor were talking about mental health just yesterday and how with anxiety and kids and even adults nowadays um, therapy and and doctors and whatnot are asking and giving the tools for going through the anxiety whereas before um, either anxiety was ignored or it was okay just don't make the kid go to school if that's what causes the anxiety just don't make them go to the store if that's what causes them the anxiety don't make them eat if that causes the anxiety and she's like it's so helpful for me to hear that your therapist is giving her the tools to go through the anxiety sometimes you can't sometimes you need to step back and go through it later but um, she said it's very helpful for her to know that we are getting that help from her therapist to go through it and Ashley said she's like well I went through this because and I told the doctor I said it took her two weeks of working through and getting ready and prepped to come to this appointment and I think that was kind of the moment where the doctor was like wait two weeks it's taken you two weeks to be able to come to this appointment and Ashley was like yeah but I am here and that was so helpful for the doctor to see that like this is real for her and it's invisible but we see it and I think Ashley's very happy and um, she didn't want to go back to school <laughs> she got a root beer what to when hers she got a root beer her anxiety didn't let her eat today she couldn't even eat at McDonald's she's like I just need a drink um, luckily they have snack and her teacher will have some of the stuff that she can snack on because she wouldn't pack a lunch she's too anxious and she missed lunch at school happy day happy 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 day um, I know for some you may not agree with medication or whatnot but she's only nine and if I can help her go into her preteen years understanding that I see her and I'm willing to get her help I think she's gonna have a lot easier time with life if I can get this help for her now and I'm glad that I'm an advocate for her and it's hard <clears throat> the doctor today she's like Dana are you okay this has been a hard year but it's come full circle and she's not done she's not out of the woods we've got a long road ahead of us with a lot of different things but um, we finally have answers we finally have um, help it's not the end-all but we have help 
for her. Um, so I'm very happy. I'll be, I'm done crying. I gotta go to Target. <laughs> and as Ashley says, I have my cute little Target outfit on. <laughs> Well, actually, I've been home for like an hour. What time is it? Yeah, I've been home for an hour. Been sitting in my car, um, uh, talking to my dad and my sister. Um, I forgot about my Cafe Rio. Fantastic, because I'm so hungry. Um, it's three o'clock. Chelsea just got home from school. But I've been talking to my dad and giving him an update and um, found these at Target. You know who I'm gonna send that to. Maybe I should send some thank you cards to you guys, because you guys have been so nice. Oh, I should do that. I should do that. That'd be fun. I should have gotten more ten, more than 10 cards, but that's okay. Um, anyway, I forgot about that salad, so that's going to be yummy to eat. Um, I literally don't have anything else on my schedule today, which is super nice. And, uh, oh, um, got this. I'm very excited. My dad was very excited. He was like, take the dose, take it as it comes. Just ease her into it, be okay with side effects. So. All right, we're ending our night here. Um, talking about Ashley, we won't talk about all the doctor stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, which is fine. You're good though, right? You feel good about everything? Okay, mm -hmm. um, but we're talking about dance and drill. Cheerleading, dance drill. dance drill. So there's three different classes and sessions that she can join squads that you should say that she can join and we're going to ask her coach um because she's got two weeks left in this current session right my coaches want me to join tumbling class to get, to get her hands advanced hands. yes if i get my back back hands free i can join the dance team dance drill and power squad yeah so it goes the one you're in now and then it goes to dance drills team and, and then power to power squad, squad. Those are the well, three house levels. Well, squads le less because it's for eight-year-olds now. But yeah, but dance, they could be as good as you. But then dance. Well, it should be dance drills. I know second. it's it's okay. We yeah. want to ask your coach what one you should sign up for next, or if you should repeat this one one more time. I don't think I think you've already gotten so many awards. They know your level, your skill level. So we're gonna ask them next week what one they think you should do. And then next week. I know, you ha I need to know what their opinion is. I can sign you up for anything, but I think you're ready to advance, mm -hmm. right? Are you excited? I even asked, I've actually won a second award yeah. yesterday. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, I was tied with other people though. Well, you're getting really good, kiddo. All right, you wanna say goodbye to everyone? They also give me, they give me looks whenever I don't do the dance. They're like, why aren't you doing it with that? Why don't you do it then? Because it's a new one and I haven't learned it as much. And they're like, why well, aren't you, you should doing just it? do it. You should just do it because you're gonna blow them away. they blow their minds. All right, say good night. She's sorting through all of her curlers. Cows. Cows. You should make little a big tic tac board, and I you can use all your little. You can do cows and mushrooms as the two game pieces. All right, Jason's out here working out. You can barely see him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he likes her gymnastics mat just as much as Ashley does. Um, but we're gonna say goodnight to you guys and uh, we'll see you guys next time. It was a great day. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, take care you guys. Good night. Easy.